Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we will learn what is Microsoft Teams, how we will download, install and sign in Microsoft Teams, how we will use all features of Microsoft Teams and how we will start and join meeting or classes. Watch complete video till end. It will help you in understanding Microsoft Teams. Before proceeding, subscribe this channel and click on bell icon to get notification about new videos. Now we will start downloading Microsoft Teams. You can download Microsoft Teams from the link provided by Institute via email or SMS. Download link is also available in description of video. When you will click on this link, this interface will appear having two options, download for desktop and download for mobile. We will download for desktop and we will click on download for desktop. And then we will click on download teams when we will click on download will start and after the completion of download installation file appear in your download folder when you will run this file microsoft Teams will be installed automatic after installation microsoft team icon will appear on your desktop screen after opening microsoft team this screen will appear here we will enter email address provided by our institute which is already communicated by you via email address or sms now we will add our email address write your name and then at the rate amc atd.onmicrosoft.com after entering your email address you will click on sign in here we will enter password which is provided by our institute after providing password we will click on sign in here we will update our password first we will enter our old password which was provided by our institute and then we will create new password length of new password will be minimum eight characters in which we should enter one capital alphabet small alphabets and numbers now we will create new password we will enter our new password two times and then we will click on sign in here we will click on skip for now now we will sign in again by providing our email address after entering your email address click on next then provide your new password after providing your new password click on sign in after signing in this interface will appear in activity tab on top left side we can see activities of all member in the team we can see different post we can see assignment we can see quiz and we can see meeting schedule for different date and time in chat tab we can text to our colleagues or friends we can make video and audio calls in assignment tab we can assign assignments and quiz to students of different classes for this we have to select class and then we have to click on next here we can see assignments and quiz which are assigned to students of different classes here we can create assignment but we will discuss it in next video in the calendar tab we can see different meetings which are scheduled for different classes we will not start any class before time we have to start meeting on respective time and dates now we will learn how to start a meeting for starting a meeting we will open teams tab and here we can see all classes in which we are added in this case we are added in first year class then we will click on first year class and then we will go to general channel in general channel we can see different meetings which are scheduled for different dates and time if we want to start a meeting then we will click on meet now button when we will click on meet now button this screen will appear we can add here any subject and we will start meeting if we want to turn off our camera then we will click here to turn off our video camera and we will click on meet now after clicking on meet now this interface will appear if you want to turn on your camera you will click here if you want to mute and unmute your microphone then click here if you want to share something with your students then you have to click on share button if you want to share your desktop with students then you have to click on desktop when you will click on desktop and your desktop screen will be shared with all students 
and if you want to stop sharing then click here for stop sharing if you want to share PowerPoint presentation then you will click on share button and then you can browse your PowerPoint presentation by clicking on browse and then you will click on upload from my computer after clicking on upload from my computer you can browse your file which are placed on your desktop in any other folder and then click on your presentation and it will be uploaded in Microsoft Teams now our PowerPoint presentation is shared with the students here we can move to next slide if we want to go back on previous slide then we will click on this button and if you want to move forward then we will click on this button if we want to stop presenting then we will click here and if you want to share something from your browser click on share button and then click on your browser here we are using Google Chrome then we will click on Google Chrome when you will click on Google Chrome this screen will appear here you can search anything and it will be shown to students and if you want to stop sharing then click here on stop sharing if you want to see participant in the meeting then click on show participants button list of all members in the meeting will be shown here if you want to see conversation of the meeting then you will click on show conversation here you can ask questions from student or type anything else if you want to ask a question from students student can raise hand and it will be shown in the participant list if you want to record your class then click on more action button and then click on start recording when you will click on start recording button then recording will be started and it can be shown in the conversation tab if you want to stop recording then click on more action button and then on stop recording and your recording will be saved at the end of class when you want to finish your class click on more option button and click on in meeting button you have to click on in meeting button if you will click on hang up then you will leave the class and the student will remain in the class so at the end of the meeting you have to click on end meeting and then end now our meeting has ended successfully in next video we will learn how to create assignment and assign to students and how to create quiz and assign to the student and how we can take attendance from student